Hello, this is Sean from Carefree Campers and we're looking at the ID Buzz today from VW. First, I'd like to say thank you to VW Collendale for lending us this van to have a look at and a test drive of today. Things we really like about the uh, ID Buzz. Um, first thing is, it's um, really easy to drive. There's some really nice navigation controls, you can see the speed you're doing, how much battery power you've got, um, the satellite navigation is really easy to get to and to navigate. Um, second thing is, it's really quiet, we're doing 40 miles an hour now, there's hardly any background noise, we're quite happy to talk over that background noise, um, but you would expect that from an electric vehicle uh, with the price ticket that uh, VW have got on this van. And the third and final thing is, there's some reasonable performance from it, um, you know, as I'm driving down the road, I want to accelerate to 50 miles an hour, I'll put my foot down, it picks up really cleanly and uh, it's really easy to then slow down and brake and hold back. It's really nice and easy to drive this home. One of the things that we get asked a lot when people come to buy a van or a camper van from us is how easy is it to park and manoeuvre the vehicle. Um, as you can see here, we've got really good visibility and reversing cameras, we've got good sized mirrors on either side, so it really makes it very easy to park and manoeuvre this vehicle. Uh, I think if you look at the van, it's a really attractive looking van. Uh, Volkswagen have obviously put a lot of effort into trying to carry through the legacy and the history of uh, the old bay windows and T4, T5, T6 vans. Um, it's got a nice aerodynamic shape to it. it, makes it a really easy vehicle to drive. If we take a look in the cockpit, um, there's a nice steering wheel, nice steering wheel set up, comfy seat. You can clearly see the speed you're doing uh, and the navigation system and all the controls uh, are on the steering wheel. Very nice, easy vehicle to drive. If we take a look in the back of the vehicle, clearly these vans are designed for as low carrying vehicles. It's how the transporter made their name. Lots of them used as work vehicles every day. Um, this is the one thing I think probably lets this vehicle down a little bit is that you can see the height difference between the floor and the ceiling is a bit limited compared to the T5s and T6s where this vehicle has developed from. If we come around the back of the vehicle, nice looking back end to the vehicle, We've got the spoilers on the top there, we open these doors up, again you can see that the height difference isn't quite as deep as we, we're used to on the T6 um, where we're using it as a works vehicle or a day van. So in summary, it's a really attractive vehicle, really easy to drive, uh, nice about town. I think the space in the back is a little bit limited, but that probably lends itself perfectly to a day van type construction.